Dear friends, welcome to the intro session on antenna and wave propagation. It's one of the toughest as well as an important core subject to EC students in BTEC. Full subject as per the semester syllabus is available on Virtue Learn. Please sign up at www.virtuelearn.in or download mobile app Virtue Learn from Play Store right away. Once purchased on Virtual Learn, you can access the entire semester content for seven months as per JNTU syllabus. It's like virtual tuition to you at very low cost. Repeat and rewind any number of times till you understand the topic thoroughly. Taught by an expert faculty and with visualization techniques, you love to learn on Virtual Learn. Access on desktop or smartphone anytime. Anyway, apart from BTEC, this subject is important for cracking gate exam or job opportunities in telecom sector. Hence, for the students opting for core electronic engineering career, they should master it. Let's see a sample video. The intensity of radiation coming from an antenna, which is indicated as the radiation intensity. As the name itself tells you, radiation intensity means the amount of radiation which is considered per unit solid angle. If I take an antenna, like this a dot, if I take an antenna, this is an antenna. If I say two dimensional plane, the radiation coming from antenna will move like this in all the directions. But it is not 2D, in realistic sense antenna radiates three dimensionally. So not only like this, the antenna also radius like this. If you take in 2D, it is circle. The region surrounding this antenna is a circle. But antenna radiation is 3D pattern. So not circle, you take a sphere. So you have a antenna at the center. Then the radiation coming from antenna will cross the sphere from all the directions. Now take a particular angle in the sphere. If you take circle, we say angle. If you take sphere, we say solid angle. The difference is for two dimensional geometries, we say angle. Sphere is three dimensional. The reason we take sphere is antenna radiation pattern itself is three dimensional. So we take three dimensional geometry, which is sphere. When it is three dimensional, we no more say angle, we say solid angle. The angle subtended at the center of the sphere, a certain angle, maybe 10 degrees or 20 degrees. So how much amount of radiation from the antenna is leaving the sphere pertaining to a certain angle, a specific angle. So I can say the amount of radiation per a unit solid angle. It's just angle per unit angle how much radiation is coming out of the sphere but sphere is three-dimensional so I say solid angle radiation coming per solid angle so amount of radiation we say in watts electromagnetic power radiated in watts per solid angle means steradians angles we express in radians whereas solid angles in steradians that is unit so watts per steradian is the unit for radiation intensity which tells you the intensity of the radiation coming from the antenna hope you liked it full subject as per the semester syllabus taught by an expert faculty with animation and graphics for easy understanding is available on virtual learn sign up at www.virtuallearn.in or download mobile app virtual learn right away happy learning Thank you.